Extremist ideologies have always been morbidly fascinating. Netflix documentaries on serial killers, tabloids with the faces and names of terrorists plastered all over the front. Humans have always been curious to understand what makes someone commit atrocities and in doing so often amplify them tenfold. This is but one of the reasons why industrial society and its future, also known as the Unabomber Manifesto, has managed to consistently carve its way into meme culture in different forms. That said, watching Vlad from Hotel Transylvania dubbed with a live reading of a serial bomber's manifesto is utterly bizarre, giving it grounds to be disarming to the point of being funny. With its terrorist author, Theodore Kaczynski, being identified as the Unabomber, aptly named due to his bombings of universities and airlines, it's no surprise his writings have been consistently poured over rigorously for over two decades by the media, academics, and ordinary people. After all, he killed three innocents and injured 23 others between the years of 1970 and 1996, when he was eventually caught and arrested living off the grid in a shack in the woods. Described as an anti-tech radical, Kaczynski's infamous manifesto is edgy given its author literally said he would kill people with bombs until it was published, yet it is also regarded as a paper of literary worth. Publishing it was a controversial move, with the concern being that industrial society and its future would lead to some idolising Kaczynski to the extreme, leading to copycat killings attacking scientists, academics, or anyone associated with progress, which unfortunately has happened. A voiceover from an audiobook reading by Invictus Augustus, Industrial Society and Its Future, a man on trial for domestic violence against his ex fiancee and firearms violence, amongst other extremely radical stuff, was used extensively in memes towards the end of last year and this year. It's interesting how a document can influence all types of people. There's also the militant Deep Green resistance which bases a lot of their movement on the manifesto, and they appear to be pretty nuts. So you get the idea, there are quite a few people that openly idolise and copy Kaczynski in his manifesto who seem to be not very nice at all. So, what is it about the manifesto that's so influential? Well, for starters, it's genuinely well written, considering Kaczynski is a Harvard academic. It opens with the line, The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. That's broad and easy enough to agree with, as there certainly has been plenty of issues stemming from the Industrial Revolution. And Kaczynski has written in the manifesto that both left-leaning people and conservatives are fools, as he is in favour of removing economic growth and progressive structures completely and he also seems to advocate for violence in order to get his way. Furthering this is the fact that when it comes to inspiring violent acts, industrial society and its future seems to have excelled, which has interesting implications for the memes that share it. Will these memes lead to more people reading the manifesto and then being more inclined to enjoy extremist groups? However, there are plenty of examples of ideas such as Return to Monkey that share some of the same anti-tech sentiments as Kaczynski, with arguably far less radical urgings. It's important to note this video is certainly not enough to critically analyse the text comprehensively, but it is clear the Unabomber Manifesto will continue to inspire radicals on all sides of the political spectrum to the point of causing death, as well as feature heavily in pop and internet culture for years to come. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>